will finish up. For database output value, first thing we need to know is how to connect to the database, from where the database can be accessed from. To do that, I go to start ODBC connector. So it's available under administrative tools, ODBC. Using this ODBC, I can now connect to the external database. For connecting to the external database, we require driver. Driver needs to be installed and that driver, in case you are not having, the driver has to match to the DB that you are trying to access. If it is Oracle, Oracle driver. If it is MS access, MS access driver. In my case, I try to use MS access driver. I choose, then source name. I choose anything I like, online QTP. The source name is nothing but DSN name. The DSN name that all the people in the group has to use the same DSN. Otherwise, the script might fail when you are moving the script from one machine to another machine. Once you have the session name, say DSN name, I need now to select or configure the database to that data source. I am choosing the database. It is available. If it is in the network, use the network path. If it is in local, I choose the local path. In my case, I am in the local. I am choosing now C drive. Under C drive, I am choosing the database path. So I say click see program files. This is where I have my uh, database program files HP under HP quick test professional under quick test professional I have now samples under samples I have flight under flight I have a app under app you can see to the left hand side flight 32.mdb choose that database this is the database now and choose the database I click OK so it is mandatory for you to know what is the database that you are trying to access so once you know the database you can connect that database to your session now in case if you are having Oracle or MS SQL where it is sensitive to the username and password click on advanced you can see login name and password you click on advanced to the right you can see a login name and password this login name is nothing but root username and root password that you need to give once you give that he will whenever he tries to connect he pass this username and password along with the connection string and he establishes the connection without that you cannot connect to the database once that is done I say ok now this is mandatory for connecting database to the QTP this is nothing to do with QTP this is we are establishing a session name DSN name through ODBC and we are making it available for QTP to use. Now we have created a session, we have made that session available, we finish now. So it is now available for QTP. This is the first thing we need to do for database. Second important thing is what is that we like to do? What is the output we like to do? In this flight reservation, I am opening the flight reservation. In this flight reservation, my aim is whatever I create an order, for that order, I like to retrieve agent name, the person who has created this order. I want agent name for the order that I create. This is my requirement. How I am going to retrieve that agent name is what we are going to see. Now that agent name is not part of this form. 
the form that you see here is this form having agent name answer is no then how do I retrieve the agent name I can retrieve it only through the backend that is database so that is why we use database output value now to get into database output value the another important thing that you need to know is you need to know which table the record is going to this flight reservation record as we create it goes to which table it goes to so called orders is the table name under orders I have to retrieve this particular agent name so I need to know the database I need to know the table that I like to access so I record now let us see how to do the same I click on windows I start recording now I insert my order now you can note the order number that you have order number is 167 for this 167 I like to retrieve agent name from DB that is my aim so how to do that is what we are going to see I finished off the, the application because now application is not required because I am dealing with the database to do that I now go to insert output value in, in this output value please note checkpoint and output value some of the screens are same so you make sure when you are going to insert you are in output value under output value you can now select database output value in database output value I now choose type of query that I need to apply in my case I want to specify the query manually I type I select specify SQL manually next first is I need to connect to the database which has that particular table I go to create this will open up the same ODBC that we have seen before in this I now choose online QTP this new button will take me to create a new ODBC session name online QTP is now data source name DSN so data source name is online QTP this information is sufficient you don't need any other information as it is available to the right hand side so on this DB now what is the query that I want to pass select star for all columns from which database orders is my table name database is already connected orders is my table name where order number is the field name so these are all something you need to know since I know it I am typing it if you don't know you have to ask the developer what is the table name what is the field name etc where order underscore number is 167 please note when you are passing the query QTP doesn't validate the query the entire query is taken as a string variable and that string is passed to the DSN using DSN through the DB DB validates the correctness of the query in case if the query is not right he will return it with an error message for example I am now changing order instead of orders I know there is no table called order I now choose finish now this entire syntax query is passed to online QTP directly now you can see the specified query could not be executed do you want to redefine your sending the reason is the uh, now the session has returned back the query to QTP 
saying that it is not a valid because there is no table called orders. So in case if I give a wrong field name, numbers I give, I say finish. I am now changing the field name to a wrong field name, finish. You can see the same error message. The specified query could not be executed. This message, even though it comes from QTP, the validation happens by the respective driver ODBC connector. That guy passes the query to the table and table validates it and sends the error message and according to the error message QTP displays this error. Now I remove the number. Now it is syntax is right. I click on finish. As I click on finish you can now see that the data is loaded now for order number 167. For order number 167 it has now loaded the table and what I want now I want agent name. I want to retrieve agent name for that order number. I choose the agent name. I select now the field for which I need to retrieve the output value. Once I retrieve it, where I need to store the value? I need to choose modify. I choose now say agent. I can rename it dt underscore because I am storing it onto the data table. dt underscore agent name. This is the column name under which in global sheet of data table I am storing the value of agent name. And where the value is retrieved? The value is retrieved from agent name on the output value properties. Using output value properties, I retrieve now the agent name. I click OK. Now the data is added to the table. So if you see the data table, you can see now dt underscore agent name is appearing. And if you see the output checkpoint table, output value properties, you can see that the value agent, dt agent is, agent name is selected and the value is stored under this. Ensure that it is selected. So now that value is stored now onto the table. Once that is stored, I say OK. Next left hand side is my actual query. DB table is my actual query from which the data is retrieved. I am opening the left hand side, selected that object using mouse, right click, object properties. In this you can see there are three properties. One is called source property. Source property is the one which is holding the query. Then unique ID. I don't have to change this. Connection string. In case you want to connect it to the different database, I can change the connection string. Now everything is parcel of the properties. <clears throat> now in this case, if you see the query, it is always 167. It is like a hard coded value. When I run the QTP again or I say OK now, I close the flight reservation. I open the flight reservation with a different username now. Password Mercury. My expectation is when I run the script, order number that it will create is 168. For this 168, I need to retrieve the agent name. This is my expectation from the DB output value. Is it retrieving for the current order number is what we are going to see. I am now running the script. Just watch the result at the end of the run.
he is running the script now the order number that has got created is 168 so i go to the result and we know the username is mercury let us go to the result let us see what he has retrieved so db output value in db output value if you see the data table you can see now john is retrieved and this is not what we expected our expectation is he should retrieve mercury